skin is starting to clear up a little bit. I hope the notes have transferred. Right now, I'm giving y'all basketball wives. You too? Telephone call telling your grandmother that we already need Okay, we're calling. Okay, hold on. Hold on the phone. Remember what they're having on basketball wife? Oh, are they cutting up that dude? <laughs> this is just the standard cutting up. Mm hmm. My nose didn't transfer anyway. I gotta send them over from my phone. Hmm. What you? My nails aren't right. That shit was so easy because they were thin and they just thin. It's tragic, really. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <clears throat> Why don't you get in the lane? Why? Again, basketball wives. We in Palm Springs and um, they fighting over the rooms, but not really fighting. I'm trying to decide who wants what room. Don't come late. This is the this was the takeaway. Don't come late. I guess I got a partner tonight. Hallelujah. <laughs> Excuse all the shaking, we we on we mobile. Mm -hmm. But um so Evelyn since she put together the, the function, she decided she's going to take the, the master suite and Shawnee and uh Tammy can fall in line. And then Kristen gets there and she takes, you know, the downstairs and yada yada. It's really not that important. The thing that bothered me about this particular scene was Kristen had a side ponytail. And I just don't see it for side ponytails, especially when you're grown. Um, let's see, then they play in Never Have I Ever. And I just, I disagree with Never Have I Ever. Because I got in trouble one time for playing Never Have I Ever at the church function. I said Never Have I Ever been a part of an after school activity and my mama got mad at me. So I don't play that game. Chess? You was in the chess club? I forgot. I was in science too. Yeah. So I'm smoking over there. Yeah. We're going to get on back. Yeah. But, um, so they playing Never Have I Ever and they bring up, I think it was... Malaysia that said never have I ever slept with a married man and uh, Evelyn didn't put her finger down and Tammy was giving her the side eye. Just the standard shade and drama. Um, and then the lady comes back, well not even before the lady comes back, they all sitting out, you know, having mimosas and things and they was flirting with the little man that came and brought them the drinks and he done dropped everything. The mess. And then they have was cute. Yeah, he was alright. cute. They was having beverages and uh, Evelyn took this time to say, well, Kristen, we're going to give you a makeover. Instead of saying, we're all having makeovers. We all <laughs> don't get done up. She decides to tell Kristen that we just don't do you in particular because you tacky. You're tacky and you're, you're large and in charge. It's all. <laughs> See, it was just so wrong. It was I like didn't 12 even, levels. I didn't hear her say anything about the girl's weight. But she knew she was self-conscious about her weight. She just had this baby situation. I have it too. I'm 23. It's all right. <laughs> but you lost all the weight for me. <laughs> And I ate chicken nuggets, but you have to. <laughs> don't blame me for your obesity. It ain't me. I don't blame nobody for my fat. You ain't gonna blame nobody for yours. Anyway, so Kristen uh, gets a little annoyed and she walks off. Jackie follows behind her and says she had no idea about this makeover situation, which is a, bl a blatant lie. Because she was there when Evelyn told um, Sanaya, I think it's the makeover girl's name, mm -hmm. that she wanted her to come do her girl's face and, and, and outfits and things. Now, Sanaya's tacky herself, so I didn't understand. But what well, she called herself? Ghetto Fabulous or Ghetto Ghetto, ghetto Chic. chic. Ghetto Chic. It, it wasn't me. It just began with ghetto. It just didn't have to be. And um, so Jackie's over there. She's just, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. But then they get back with the girls <laughs> and the makeover, uh, Sanaya, you know, the lady comes in. And she's saying, well, Jackie told me <laughs> that you would be kind of tentative about this. And she's like, oh, so Jackie, you knew. And she tried to play like, what? Well, see, see what happened was, girl, you knew. You knew. You just knew. You knew and you talked about it with the other girls. And then you came up here and tried to play like, you ain't know. You're not shook. You knew. She's not shook. So Kristen was annoyed about that. And then they go in and they, they start to do the makeover. And while they're putting on the girls' makeup, all the ladies come in, which is another, you know, embarrassing moment. If you already didn't want this and you're trying to just go with it, then everybody come in. That's that's not cool. Because they knew this was going to be a hot mess. You know, that's like, it's, but now, Shani, did she get us some chips and some popcorn? Because this was going to be. <laughs> Shani was me the whole episode. She was me. She said, oh, she said nothing. She was sitting back there. Pass chips. I'm going to enjoy this. Chips. <laughs> I said, if that's oh, not that me, was funny. That was so funny. every time you looked at Shani, she was eating chips or brushing one of them wigs. <laughs> like, she done put all of this together. This is TV. <laughs> she watching TV, but it's on 
<laughs> she hand grabbed it this and then she said back eating chips. I said that is such chips a mean, good. That's chips, a mean thing to do. Chips are good. So while they in there, they get to talking and um what's her name? Kristen gets to crying and Evelyn's like, No, don't cry and for some reason uh, Sanaya decides to make her feel better. She gonna tell us she saw this meme that said, "Sometimes you're not ugly, you just broke." <laughs> what did that have to do what? with anything? What's love got to do with it? That was going on in the room. What did that have to do with it? What? What was the point? I mean, I'm broke, so but I'm still fabulous. I mean, I'm, I'm not as fabulous as I would be with money. So I understood what the meme was saying, but I just didn't understand in the context. Yeah. Right now, with that what that what you saying? <laughs> and it was like, yes, yeah, all these girls things. got three, four dollars. You know, one or two at least. Oh. Everybody had more money than the stylist. No shade. She trying to come up by coming on the show. And you know, no shade, but I knew she was a little extra when I saw that she had tattoos on her titties. Anytime I see somebody with a tattoo on their titty, I'm just like, okay, well, we know. <laughs> we know what this is. Your most is occurring. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I know a couple of women who have tattoos and they done got saved and now they not like they used to be. Back they in still the day, got one, but you know they had to put that, put that other outfit on. Right. But back in the day when they had gotten a tattoo on their titty, it was a whole other situation. They was a mess. So I just knew. I never wanted to expose my tie to the tattoo artist. I don't care. I just don't think tattoos on, on wrists are particularly flattering. Are they cancerous? You know, they you put on his wrist. So then, um, Kristen runs out and she's talking to uh, the white woman. I can't remember her name, Bobby Joe, something like that. Right. And, she's um, peaceful so far. Really. She has seen. I mean, she on the show. <laughs> Who was it? It was uh, Bobby Joe and, and somebody else. Malaysia was Malaysia. I think I couldn't be on a show like this. I'm not quite messy enough, but I just don't care. Well, you be sitting eating chips with Shani. <laughs> Myself, executive producer. Yeah, he is right there. <laughs> what kind of foolishness you got? That's my question. That's interview question. Right. What, what foolishness can you bring to the show? <laughs> you need foolishness right. here. But she goes at it. She's uh, upset. She's crying with with the white woman in Malaysia, and telling her all the things she done called her broke and all of this. And they're like, No. She said that. I can't believe it. No, I'm sure. Wow. <laughs> and um. The devil is in the <laughs> details. And then Evelyn comes through and Kristen says, you completely dysfunctioned. <laughs> Mom, she was upset now. <laughs> now if she talked like that straight through, then we would be concerned, but she was, she was emotional. She dysfunctioned. It was towed up. <laughs> ah, look, it was it was too much. But then they go and they they sitting in, at the table. But you know, I'm silly. You have to cut that line. I have to do that. We, we, yeah, yeah. I'll express it, but you cannot. I can't be on Let TV. me express it all foul. <laughs> it was wrong. I just can't. Yeah, I won't. Mm -mm. It was grammatically incorrect, and I'm not able. Cut. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what? Do the whole thing. But then they they sitting back at the table. This is when Shawnee was eating the chips. <laughs> they sitting at the table, and Jackie has gotten, you know, she's gotten, she's introduced and sitting next to Sanaya, and you see that she's just automatically smitten with her. You know, they both ghetto and a mess and just too much. Gross. They both had on camouflage. And Jackie Christie's area. So camouflage, spots. is that the new um, animal print? <laughs> it must be. I just want I gotta ask Cookie Lion, I'm not sure. Right, okay. But, uh, she know. <laughs> if don't nobody know, she know. But Jackie's areola peeped through the shirt and everybody was just kind of shook. Well, my question is, didn't you feel that ass? She didn't you feel know, it. I, you know, I'm cold nature. Right. I got this jacket on in this 100 degree weather right now. She didn't feel it. But this is the same woman that came to lunch with Shani with a, a trench coat and nothing on nothing. No, she just nasty. She's man. just nasty. Just, just straight up. And, you with a, and, and you're not going with your man, you're going with your girlfriend, that y'all ain't girlfriends like that? Right, it's not your woman, like, it's not your boo. This is just your, your good, good girlfriend. I would be creeped out. You, we won't, Where's your girl? Meet, no. I can't. Call me on the phone. We cannot meet ever. FaceTime me. Because I can't. I can't even get near you. Right. It's just too much. But while they having this little sit down at the table and Chinese eat the chips, <laughs> and Jackie's areola's hanging out. Jackie decides at the to table. At the table. Gross. I couldn't eat the chips because I'd be shook by the, the breast. But <laughs> Jackie then asked Sanaya to come to, you know, to stay. And I'm like, did y'all run this by anybody? The girl has been that? devastated for the day. Her life has been dysfunction. And she's <laughs> the one you invited in the front. You asked her to stay. I asked her to stay. And so. That was trifling on the other ones. Right? It was trifling. The whole situation was just too much. So then they go out to dinner. And Sanaya is talking about how she go with this basketball player or went with him. And he used to have her on the sideline. And the on the point front of this row. conversation was what? It just didn't need to be had, but <laughs> he had on the front you row. Side and chick, right? All of that. And, and she was, um, she said she was with him three nights before his wedding and how much he. You she, stupid! Stupid. Just plum stupid. I'm sorry, I got a little emotional. That's all right. Just let, just let it out. What? <laughs> and you ain't married me? Now, you know, I don't do nothing too good. It's got to be, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he was paying enough or something. I, I don't know. 
But you be my number two too. Yeah, you can pay me to be your side chick, but you my side. You my side Negro. So <laughs> that's y'all on the side. It's just sides everywhere. Mashed potatoes and, and green beans. Just yeah, sides. That was before I found Jesus. Oh, well, I'm still. You know, we he, be working on. He, he comes in and out. He, he comes <laughs> in and out right now. Oh no, we want him to stay. Uh, you know. Maybe yeah. we need to have a prayer meeting. I need to call over there and see if we can't get a prayer meeting. Why is it? Why is it stopped here? I don't know. You know, I don't come this way anymore. I'm sorry. I'm just glad I'm not having a panic attack because you know this is where I used to have my moment on my way to the school. Well, you don't have to go there now. That's I know. That's the opposite direction. That's all in the hood. We don't have to go to the hood. I all. know. That's why I'm, I'm just I'm giving oh, God the glory. Because I used to have a little mini freak out coming up on this little now, area. Now, this bridge in ice weather is a reason. I've seen the people driving at me. And this ain't the at me side of the freeway. No, it's not. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Yeah. So, she does all of that and says how she loves him and Shiny is looking like, so you're in love with him? And she's like, no, I love him. But you would be with him? No, I just love him. It's like you ignorant. Can't you listen to what she's asking? You? <laughs> she don't want to. She don't want to talk about it no more. After you Why you spill all your tea if you don't want to? Talk. Now you got to talk about it. You got to stir it. <laughs> you got to find out what flavors in it. You got to put it all together if you're gonna put it out there. All of that. Don't put the picture on the table if you're not gonna pour it. She poured it though. She just didn't want to have a sip. No more. <laughs> you get this much. She poured it for everybody else, but when it was her time to drink, she didn't want to drink none. That's what happened. But um, that's why people want to put cyanide in it. Now earlier back at the table, because I forgot, well, I, I think it was while they were playing Never Have I Ever. Mm. Um, Malaysia goes it's into bad for grown people anyway. Oh, these aren't grown women. These oh, are TV girls. They're tall. <laughs> but um, Malaysia goes into how she misses Brandy, and everybody looking at her like, okay, you can miss Brandy. That's fine. <laughs> Just don't let her show up here. Mm. And so when we get to the dinner, Malaysia says she got to go to the bathroom, and she gets up and, and comes back with Brandy. And the girls are shook. It goes in slow motion, and the heads turn in slow, and it's just dramatic. I didn't know music. we we did slow motion in a reality show oh, all the time, all the time. You and they play, the, you know, the, the dramatic music and all of that. And then here comes Brandy. She looks just like Malaysia. She's pretty. She's pretty, but she literally just. Something ain't right. I don't know her. She wants to be Malaysia, and it's kind of scary. And that's probably why Malaysia misses her. Probably so. But uh, <laughs> so she come in, and then Shani, yeah, Tammy, country. Malaysia. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay. You won't shave that. I'm, I'm sorry. We know actual Malaysians in real life. Do I? We, they always in a play. No. We know a real baby named Malaysia. We do? Yes. I'm going to ask you after we get off the <laughs> We had that baby. We'll talk about it. But um, anyway, so Jackie, Tammy, and Evelyn get up and walk out. Now, that would have been all fine and good. We could have ended I, the show. Shiny right went there. with them. Oh, Shiny. Not Jackie. Shiny, Tammy, and Evelyn get up and walk out. And that would have been great. Shiny is good at looking like you are not, you know, at the blank face like, oh. Yeah, Shiny is really good at just eating her chips and minding her business. Digging in her phone, pretending like she's looking down the street. Right. She's looking at that. They all kind of stonewalled. <laughs> but we she had to go and look in their faces because it was like. But we ain't even got there yet. They walk out. And Malaysia, I mean, Brandy's like, well, what's the problem? Malaysia said she don't know. Like they hadn't already all talked about how they didn't want Brandy yet. And so Malaysia says, well, let's go follow them and see what the problem is. Are we in sixth grade? Second grade. <laughs> I ain't finna get up. Girl, please. I got pasta coming to the second. It's them side. They gonna, they gonna put some, some blackberry in my teeth. <laughs> I'm good. I don't have the time. So, Malaysia and Brandy walk out to where the old girls are. Is this why I don't have a lot of girlfriends? This is why. Okay. The older girls are out there and they are waiting on their taxi and basically giving um, the, the civil rights city and treatment. And just ignoring everything they do. Then what with the girl? She got her cigarette. And <laughs> Tammy, Tammy always got her cigarette. It was like this long, it's, wasn't it? She does the the slims, the long slims. <laughs> so she can just reach out and touch. <laughs> she had her cigarette, and Tammy, I mean not Tammy, Tammy the one with the cigarette. Shiny was on her phone, and Evelyn was waiting on the taxi. Taxi. And for some reason, <laughs> Brandy decides to walk around and stand in front of them, and that's where it went off. And if Tammy, Tammy grabs that girl by her weave, I, I can't even, I can't say nothing. Cause she already in the street. This is a bad position for you. It's just not good. Why are you in the street? <laughs> oh, anyway, I got to do Rebel, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this one and come back on the next one. Okay. But like, comment, and subscribe, and all the things that YouTube is saying. Mateus GoFundMe is in the description, and all my information is in the description. And yeah, I, I will be right back.